you had a chance to meet Steve, and, and if we, I mean, and I had a chance to interview him, you know, when the book came out. Um, I'm just blown away by these guys, aren't you? Oh God, yeah. It was, I, I got to know him for about a year, and uh, I just, I just love being around him. He had such positive energy, and if you look around, anyone that was around him, there's one common thread: everyone was smiling because he just brought such positive energy. He's such a positive guy, but such a humble guy. That's what, that was the thing that amazed me most because. I want to make his story, and I, you know, I promise, hey, I'm going to get you to the GI Film Festival. I'm going to walk you down the red carpet to the GI Film Festival. And in the process, I was trying to tell the story right. And I had his book, but I wanted to hear from him. I wanted to get the stories that weren't in the book. The problem was he was so humble. He's trying to pull stuff out of him. He was like, you'd ask him a question, he'd just kind of like, smile. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was great. I mean, I love talking with him. And how many times do you run into a double ace of World War II? I mean, there's yeah. only, there's only, there used to be five, now there's only four. We lost, said we lost Steve in June on the anniversary of D-Day, by the way. And the, 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 the bl blessing about all of it was he got to see, we were in post, but he did get to see the trailer. He did get to see And he, he died the next day. Oh, so it was, yeah. And you honor him by doing that. And you're Vic, I assume, right? So. <laughs> Got to shake another Air Force guy here. Yes, we're few and far between in San Diego. So, uh, and you had a chance, I'm, I'm assuming, to meet him as well. I met uh, Steve before my son did. In fact, I introduced him. I, I, I met him by uh, being invited to a group uh, it's called uh, Bagels and Bologna. We meet every Friday at uh, Rancho Bernardo, and we're all just old veterans. And uh, when I was invited to join that group, and tried to entice me, they said, "Hey, there's some really interesting guys here," and they started describing Steve. And I said, you know, I think I read his book. So I went home, took out my library of books, and sure enough, so the first meeting, I walked in with my book, and Steve spotted me, and he got a smile on his face. He knew right away what I was there for. So I got a signature. So anyway, after that, I went to Mark and said, Mark, you've got to join this group with us. And, and uh, uh, I believe Mark's the youngest one in the group, but he loves the, the guys, uh, you know, he's more excited about it. And the guys just have fabulous stories where, uh, Bagels and bologna, you know where the bologna comes from. <laughs> I, I can experience that myself. There's a group of uh, Pearl Harbor survivors that meet in a guy's house in, in Chula Vista. I was lucky enough to be invited. Uh, and you're right, there's a lot of bologna, a lot of bourbon too, but there's a lot of it. But it was great to meet him. 